making the International Red and White Show ring. Judge Black has completed his placing in the Winter Heifer Calf class. We'd like to ask the juniors to take a half step forward to be recognized. Second place junior in their class is entry 2298, Ms. Roland View Jump for Fun Red, exhibited by Jacob Logan and Madison Harbaugh, Marion, Wisconsin. First place junior and also placing third in the open class is entry 2303, Raincrest Savannah Red, exhibited by Dakota Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. Second in the class is entry number 2299, HS Hobstuff and Spicy Red, exhibited by Raincrest Farm and Fly Higher Holsteins of Corfu, New York. And winning the class and also the Bread and Owned Award is entry 2304, Schluter Unstoppable Aspen Red, exhibited by Olivia Schluter of Redbud, Illinois. Congratulations. Judge Black, your reasons on the class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have an incredible class of uh, winter calves from top to bottom. With that being said, a calf for Pat and I that comes to the top quite handily. A calf that's extremely stylish. She's extremely feminine. She's dairy all the way through, and today she has an advantage, that overall spring to her rib. She's got more angle to her rib today, and she's a little cleaner down through her hock and all the way through the bone in her leg than a beautiful balanced heifer here coming out in second. The second place heifer over the heifer in third, a close placing. But when we get these two heifers behind them, the heifer in second. Turning your attention to the Guernsey Show, we have the winners of the Winter Heifer Calf Class. We ask our junior exhibitors to take a half step forward so you can be recognized. Our junior, hold on just a moment. Our third place finisher is number 1544, Naps A Pie Twisted T E T V. Kelly Jo Johnson and Nap Guernsey's York, Pennsylvania. Our second place finisher and second junior, John Ann Charismas T. Cherie, Cal Bonavita, Meshopin, Pennsylvania. And our first place overall winner, Bread and Owned Award winner, Junior Bread and Owned Award winner, and Junior First Place finisher is number 1557, Twin County What's on Tap ET, Landry Fraley, Muncie, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Judge Seth Johnson, tell us more about this fine class of calves. What an awesome class of winter calves we've got out here. Uh, as they came in, uh, you know, they come in in age order, and, and all these January calves came in, and we loved every one of them, and they just got better as we went along. Just a fantastic group of calves. Uh, if you haven't figured it out after these first two ca classes, I love them balanced, and I love them deep and open-ribbed, and that describes this top group of calves we got in particular, this class winner, she's balanced, she's strong, she's powerful, she's straight line, moves out on a great set of feet and legs. And she's a, she's a calf that, uh, compared to the second calf, just a little more everywhere, a little wider through that front end, a little deeper in her rib, a little taller in the front end, just a little more heifer, but take nothing away from the second calf, a calf that's made exactly the same as the class winner. She's correct, she's straight lined and walks out on a great set of feet and legs on her own, in her own right. She places over the third calf and just being harder over that top. She's uh, stronger through the loin as she moves than the uh, third place calf. She maybe tracks just a little nicer on those rear legs and is a little stronger on her pastern than the third place calf. Third over fourth is a calf that I just prefer as she moves around the ring. She's got maybe a little more drop to her fore rib, a little more fill in her rear rib today than this uh, long, long red calf coming out in fifth. I love this calf in, in or in fourth. The calf in fourth, I just love her as she stands and just uh, gets a little easier in her loin as she moves around the ring uh, than she does when she stands. Uh, but she does use her advantage in, in width and power, especially width back through those pins compared to this real uh, beautiful outline heifer here in fifth, the heifer that we loved on the rail and just didn't have quite enough width to get up into that top group. But she does use that overall style, balance, uh, strength behind the shoulder to place over this uh, really correct and equally long heifer coming out in six. Congratulations.